And what does it look like next year? Uh, from now on, we have got, we're ready. I think our model is ready, our structure is ready. Uh, uh, and all we want to do is start franchising. So anything we franchise is, is net. Any, any revenues coming is, is net. We don't have any other expenses. Sorry, th is that your idea of explaining to me how your business works? Uh, I'm just asking you just to explain your business in numbers. How much profit are you going to make next year? Well, I'm, I'm looking to turn no, no, over. No, no, no. Next word out of your mouth is a number. How much profit are you going to make next year? Hello Dragons, my name is Fahim Badur. I am the director and sole shareholder of a company called Direct Wholesale and Investment Group Limited. Direct Wholesale was established in 2010 with the main aim of supplying restaurants and food service sector with my own blend of uh, recipes uh, and products. In 2012, we decided to get a bit adventurous and uh, vertically integrate our business model and we created Perios, which is a fast casual uh, restaurant concept. Uh, based on food with global flavors, flavors from all over the world. Uh, we have expanded the brand uh, rapidly. Uh, we have uh, now got six stores uh, of six, uh, uh, five are franchised, one is company owned. We have also developed uh, our sauce range, which we are only at the moment selling from our restaurants, but we would love to take these into the retail sector and expand on the brand. Uh, Last year, company turned over 1.5 million. That's the on the whole side only, uh, and hopefully, with you guys on board, uh, we can make Perios a, a national and possibly a global brand. What are you asking for? Oh. You, you forgot Sorry. the most important part of your pitch. Yes, you yes, don't want yes, any money, yes, and you yes. won't want any percentage. <laughs> 25, I just want you guys on board. No. That's all okay. I want. 25, 000, 50 percent. <laughs> Duku, you can have anything you want. You've got, you've got, you got, <laughs> you got the same style. <laughs> it's, I'm pitching. <laughs> I'm pitching. Uh, I'm asking for uh, 130,000 pounds in return for 10% equity in the business. All right, carry on. Thank you very much. Thank you. With a restaurant franchise, source supply, and plans to expand into retail, it's all going on in Fahim Badur's business. What is this chicken? This is chicken breast. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Freddy, Hal. You've done a great job. Thank you very much. The enthusiastic entrepreneur is looking for £130,000 for just 10% of his company. Nick Jenkins wants to make sense of what he's heard so far. So what we've got is a, this is a bit confusing. We've got a business which is... It, it, it's several businesses all meshed into one. What, what I want to do is uh, I, I have got experience in food service sector plus in the restaurant sector uh, and uh, one of the elements that I want to touch is retail. I want to get into sort of retail sector. Uh, I've got products that is very appealing out of developed for the food service you, sector. You've got to make this more snappy. I mean, I'm still struggling, I'm sitting here struggling to understand what I'm investing in. Am I investing in a restaurant supply business or am I investing in a, in a restaurant chain? You're investing in both. Fahim confirms that he wants the investment to grow his restaurant franchise and product range. But the Dragon still remain confused over the many facets of his business. Now, the Dragon who made her fortune in restaurant chain rollouts wants to pick apart yet another aspect of his company, his restaurant franchise model. I don't get it. I'm trying desperately hard to understand this. You opened a restaurant and somebody came along and went, wow, this is absolutely amazing, I'd like to have a franchise Actually, of it. it's the other way around. Uh, we first sold it and then somebody came and said, amazing. <laughs> uh, we built up the visuals uh, and somebody came and said, look, this looks amazing and we'll have it. I might be being so thick here, I don't, I don't... So, did you open a franchise before you opened your own restaurant? It was simultaneously, actually. So you opened two together? Yes. Okay, and what did they pay for that? Uh, we actually just charged them the basics in terms of like uh, a setup, and then what you got to do is you have to do the visual, do commission uh, uh, builders to carry on uh, doing the work, and we actually then supply the uh, the artwork and everything is all ours. And they buy the sauce from you. Yes. So of your restaurant, for example, you should be making eighty to hundred grand bottom line on that site. 
Yeah, hopefully we'll be making that. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, hopefully, or yeah. Yeah, because okay. we, we, we just sort of opened. So we've been Hang on, I thought you opened it in 2012. 2012 was our first uh, small takeaway restaurant that we opened, and that one we have actually, uh, uh, we licensed it out, uh, management sort of license for somebody else to operate. Oh my God, I couldn't be more confused. I'm confused. I don't know about anybody else. Well, totally. I'm clearly Would so you just like to explain turnover, gross margin, overheads, net profit? Uh, turnover last year 1.5, uh, net profit uh, 60, 65. Uh, and what does it look like next year? Uh, from now onwards, we have got we're ready. I think our model is ready. Our structure is ready. Uh, uh, and all we want to do is start franchising. So anything with franchise is, is net. Any any revenues coming is, is net. We don't have any other expenses. Sorry, is that your idea of explaining to me how your business works? Uh, I'm just asking you just to explain your business in numbers. How much profit are you going to make next year? Well, I'm, I'm looking to turn no, no, over. No, no, no. Next word out of your mouth is a number. How much profit are you going to make next year? Uh, half a million. Great. Deborah Meaden faces an uphill struggle as she tries to clarify Fahim's basic numbers. And now Peter Jones is poised to deliver a critique of his menu. I'm going to say it how it is. I'm not impressed. I think this is something my kids could put together as a menu. You've got about 12 products there. You've come up with a sauce and you've bottled it with a pretty average label. The most impressive thing is when you say you've turned over 1.5 million. I think that's when everybody's... Wow. You've got us at that point. Mm. But if you, if you didn't have the turnover, you'd kind of question, what is, what is it really that you've got? You've got almost five or six pop-up type restaurants where, frankly, the food looks very average. Literally, you've got 12... I can only go into this restaurant and have 12 things. If, uh, if there's 1,600 different combinations of food you can have there using different spice and ingredients. So every, if you here actually... I can have grilled chicken, I can go for the sizzler, a chicken but you bite, get, but or you buffalo got, wings. But you've got nine different flavours, so each one you, get, you can choose. And, and they, they're but, Do you not see what I mean? You look at the back here, I get, you only offer five drinks. We, it's, it's a refill, so you can, you can choose well, why successful can't I have a, Why can't I have a bottle of beer? Oh, yeah, actually, let me show you something. No, not now. Uh, no, 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 I got... Uh, I'm going to second. Uh, I'm going to second. Uh, so that's basically our beer menu. <laughs> oh, right, so you have got more... Uh, that's our kids' menu. Right. And that's our dessert menu. We have right. actually developed a, a Perio's kids' story uh, for, for kids. Is there anything uh, else? Uh, uh, there, there is... There is a, <laughs> there's a lot to me, Peter. <laughs> Confusion around Fahim's business plan, confusion around his menus. And now Nick Jenkins appears confused about the story behind brand Perios. Is Perio a person? Uh, Perios is a brand we actually created uh, uh, and which wanted to rep it represents uh, the wolf flavours. OK, but what does it mean? Well, I mean, every brand, you know, brand relies a little bit on authenticity. Now, if you had told me a story about Perry, who was a, or Perio, who was a chap who had a great, great, great grandfather who was Indian, and another one who's Portuguese, another one who's Mexican, very multicultural family, and he used to spend his time with his great, 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 I say great, great, great grandparents because about 12 different flavors in here, and they would all sit around for this multicultural breakfast, and, and this is what he wanted to recreate in his restaurant. That There's is no... a good story. That's the no, I'm story. Sorry, I'm just going to help you out with a brand story <laughs> here. Are you kidding me? Is this actually happening? This is a mishmash. Of... It's not actually a mishmash. If it was a mishmash, people would not come in. We would not have customers coming in. Fine. It's actually... most... Hang on. Two I, haven't, I haven't finished yet. Save me! I, I haven't finished yet. You're speaking to me. Right, so if I was looking for a restaurant franchise, I wouldn't be filled with confidence right now. And I just don't really get the story. I don't really understand what this is. And all these menus you've given us, there's one over there that's got a picture of, it looks like an American diner. There we go, OK. This just doesn't tie in with It, it does. That, we've got, we've which got American flavour on the... On the, on, on the I'm on sorry, you kind of... I, I'm going to tell you where I am. I, I am so confused by your numbers. I'm completely confused by your brand. Uh, but I'm not confused about whether or not I'm going to invest. I'm not. I'm out. Fahim fails to survive a grilling from Nick Jenkins, who becomes the first dragon to go out. And it looks like Deborah Meaden is heading for the exit too. This has been one of the most frustrating pictures I think I've ever sat through. I'm sorry, if Deborah, if you feel like that. And with all honesty, uh, if I knew even 1% that what I'm pitching and you would not double up your investment. But that's just words. How many people do you think I get standing in front of me saying, do you know what, you give me your money and I'll double up your investment? Deborah, what if I give you a personal guarantee on the money? 
Well, can you? Yes, I can. Are you very wealthy? I'm not very wealthy, but I've got but, but, yeah, but enough. A personal guarantee? Got, I'll, I'll put my house in your name. No, 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 you see, I really, really, that's oh. not what, you, really, you think I'd turf somebody out of their house? I mean, no, it, you just, know, I'm just it's sort of not, saying, I believe in the business, I believe in the model. It, yeah, well, I, yeah, I, I but really, listen to me, I'm trying to help you here. You're not going to get an investment from me, but at some point, you're going to have to get investment. You're going to have to explain your business. You can't. You haven't. I'm out. That impressive turnover goes by the wayside yet again, as Fahim's inability to explain his business succinctly leads to the loss of another dragon. Could the den's king of sauce, Peter Jones, be the one to propel Fahim's brand and his restaurant concept into the big time? I've opened restaurants before and I've failed miserably because I've got it wrong. And in fact, I've lost my shirt on one restaurant. I don't think I could add anything to you, but my big issue with this is I think that you've got a lot wrong. And I think you're going down a very, very dangerous road. I think you need to go back to the drawing board and start to really think about what you've got here and which type of business you want to invest your time into. You want to be a wholesale sourced provider at low margin into restaurant chains and do what you used to do, it's what you should do. If you want to run, run and set up a small pop-up type style restaurant and go on to the next, you should do that. Combining it is not a good thing for you. So I'm not going to invest in you because I think that you're personally confused about where the direction of this business is going. And that's the reason why I'm not going to give you the money today and say that I'm out. Thanks, Peter. Peter Jones walks away from the deal, leaving the den's resident restaurateur with the final bill. Will Fahim's £1.5 million turnover be enough to entice Sarah Willingham to come on board and streamline the business? I have never worked so hard in the den to try and understand a business. This is so up my street. You know, this is what I've done. You've done £1.5 million turnover. I think that's bloody brilliant but I have no concept of where you make your money within the business. I have no concept of how this can get rolled out. And I have no choice but to say, I'm out. Thank you. Fahim's dreams of a double dragon deal with Peter Jones and Sarah Willingham are dashed, and the dapper entrepreneur leaves the den with nothing. I could not explain to them the whole vision properly. I think that was a bit of probably my, my fault, maybe, in a way. I've never seen a, a restaurant that with a, the, a more confusing, what, what am I in a Mexican place? Then it's, there's a bit of Indian, and there's a bit of Japanese, and there's a bit of this, and there's a bit of that. I think the tougher it gets, the, the more of a, you know, like a phoenix, you rise again stronger. So hopefully it will be, a, the res resurrection will be much stronger, <laughs> hopefully.